Well, good morning, everybody. It is Heidi at Hen and Chick Studio, and I'm standing right in the sun, but you know what? I love it. I love that the sun is so bright um, and beautiful today, so I'll try to um, maybe adjust the camera just a little bit here, but um, it is um, wonderful. I'm certainly not going to complain because I love having that sun out, and um, there's just uh, nothing better than a little sunshine on our faces, right? Well, I am glad you are joining me today. This is Hen and Chick Studio. We're located in Conrad, Iowa. If this is your first time, welcome. We love to have people join us. If you are a regular, you know the drill. So I always love to know where you are watching from. So start jumping in on the comments and add in where you're watching from this morning and you can tell me are you sitting in the sunshine too and soaking up some of those rays um, no matter what part of the hemisphere you're in but what i love to say is that right here from little conrad iowa a little town of about 1100 people in the middle of iowa we are spreading creativity coast to coast, and I love that. And good morning already to several of you regulars. I see Marilyn and I see Rhonda, and I uh, love having all of our regulars join us as well. So, so good morning. It has been a busy week here at Hen and Chick Studio. Now, my staff may or may not um, uh, love it when this week rolls around, but we got the idea that we should move a couple of things. And then the owner of the store um, decided that, well, if we're going to start moving stuff, we might as well move everything. So when you come into the store the next time, not everything has moved, but a lot of stuff has moved. And the funny thing is, I always think it's so interesting how just by um, a different perspective, things look different. And it just reminds me that even when we are quilting, it's good. Step back. Look at your quilt in a different light, um, if, or at a different angle, because it's amazing how things can look different. Even last night as I was looking at some pictures I'd taken of the store yesterday, uh, even the girls said, Mom, did you move that quilt? And I'm like, no, didn't move that quilt. But because we moved some stuff around it, the quilt that was hanging in that particular area looked different. And I just think that um, that is so true, um, again, in anything that we're creating is that when we're up tight and, and close to working on something, you got to step back. And I do that even with my doodles every morning, with my um, painting that I'm playing with, uh, art journaling, and it's important to do with quilts. You know, that's one reason why we always suggest take a picture of your fabrics with um, your camera so you can get that perspective. And, oh, good morning. I love seeing so many people uh, jump on. Good morning, good morning. Love to see it. So, so glad that so many of you are joining us today. So, um, anyway, so it has been a busy week. I have, to, I have to give a shout out this morning to Angie. She is our new Riley Blake um, fabric sales rep. And she walked into the, into the, into the mess, into the, um, uh, the swirling uh, chaos of moving on Monday morning. And ended up spending, I don't know, two and a half hours with us helping me move um, furniture, and I uh, we couldn't have done it without her. It takes a team, um, Jackie and uh, Stephanie and uh, Carol and Leslie, every day this week, um, every part of the team has been helping move Goldie and Virginia. They moved to quilts too. So anyway, so I will be giving more videos um, of, and, and I'll say pictures of, the shop. We have so many new store samples. I haven't been able to do an unboxing or an unveiling of every single new thing. Um, but let me just tell you, there are some new and exciting things. And um, if you're all still hanging in there with me, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll turn the camera and show you one that's uh, hanging up right here. But today we're going to do an unboxing. So good morning, good morning. I love it. And I see people coming in from all over the place. Keep that up. One of the best things that you can do for us is to always tag your friends and share this post. 
Um, that's how we get more exposure out there and word of mouth is the best kind of advertising that we can get. So if you like what you see at Hen and Chick Studio, tell somebody. We love it and we appreciate you for doing that. Okay, so um, because of the way all of these boxes came in, I've there's a couple that have been opened. So I do know what is in them, um, but uh, you don't, right? So this is gonna be fun. Okay, so we're gonna start actually with this box right here. I'm going to kind of, uh, none of these fabrics are in the system yet. Um, but you'll see in a, in a few minutes, um, what we're going to be making with those. So, uh, but none of these are in, um, okay. This collection is from Moda. So from Moda Fabrics and it's called Shoreline. And I am loving this. I'm going to start with, um, uh, it is just, I'm going to put these back. This is Camille Ross Kelly, I believe is how you say her last name. And um, you're going to get the drift real quick, but it is uh, kind of an off-white with a light blue plaid. And I'm going to just try to, then there is a blue, and I would call this more of a slate blue denim blue. Uh, in that particular blue with a white um, and it's gonna be a little hard I can tell let me pull the camera up here see if I can get the camera out of the Sun at all because I can tell we're going to um, now this is more of a navy blue same print is that a little better am I a little more out of the let's see if I'm out of the Sun at that point we're, we're gonna test this out that's the blue and um, I will try to have all these up by the end of the day. Again, this is called Shoreline. And then there is a beautiful green. So if this gives you any indication of this collection, it's going to be beautiful blues and greens. And then we're going to go, and there's one more in this collection with a that kind of off-white with a more of a taupey line in it. And I feel like I'm still way in the sun. Um, hang on, one tight, one minute. Hang on. We're just going to camera change, set change. Here we go. Everybody hold on. Everybody hold on. We're going to try to get the camera out of the sun. Sorry about that, folks. There we go. Let's, we're going to try this. Move my camera so I can see how we're doing. I don't know. This it's a wonderful sun. I love having this sun. All right, we're gonna try another box. We're gonna see from this angle. We're gonna see what happens. I don't know. I might still be in the sun too much. I think that we're gonna try it. This is the you know this is always a good thing bad thing with um, live. I'm going to move up a little. Get a couple different angles of the store. Let's see if this works. I don't know. Okay, here we go again. This, again, this is all shoreline. And you kind of got a feel of it. It's blues. Let's see if that looks any better. It's a small floral. Then there's a darker blue. Like, I don't care if I'm in the sun. I just want the fabrics to look really good. And it's still pretty darn bright this morning. Hmm. I'm trying to think, trying to think creatively on the spot, but I'm not sure that I'm going to find the right angle without... This is the dark blue. The only thing at this point I could do... Um, and hang on one minute. Everybody entertain yourself. This is live TV at its best. Enjoy looking at the quilts for a second. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day.
day. All right, I think, I think I've solved the problem. I put the awning down, had a little conversation with Jim and, and his fluffy dog as they were walking by. But I hope all of you are hanging with me. Thank you so very much. It'll be worth it so that you can see the colors of the fabric better. Um, I'm, I'm gonna shut the door because it's a little cool outside. And when we hear that bell, that is the best sound because that means there's people coming in the front door. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Thank you, all of you for hanging in there with me. Okay, let's try this. So there's a beautiful blue. And then there's, this is navy. It's almost like a black, um, but it's navy. Tell me, that's much better, I think, with the, again, we love that sun, but there are times when it becomes uh, problematic when we're trying to show fabric. Oh, I think this is showing off much, much better. Thank you, everybody, for being so patient with me this morning. Some days we just got to go with it, right? It's all going to be okay because it's all fabric. Look at this beautiful green. Absolutely better. Oh, good. Much better. Love it, love it, love it. Again, thank you for being patient um, with me uh, this morning. So this is Shoreline, and this is from Moda. Uh, the designer is uh, Camille Roskelly. Love this pretty taupe. Okay. Some stripes. Here is a pretty blue and white stripe. Yeah, we would have just continued to struggle. Had to get that awning down. All right, there is a darker, a little bit darker blue. Awesome. It's got to all be about the fabric, right? Okay. Um, here's a beautiful green. All of these will be on our website, um, hopefully uh, later yet, maybe this morning, if not for sure, uh, by the end of the day. And I love this floral. Again, are you getting the gist of how this collection is going to all come together? It is just beautiful blues and greens. And I got a floral. And that was blue and green in that one. This one is just all shades of blue love it okay okay so i'm gonna go this one when the fedex guy came he delivered 12 boxes some of which were from feathered friends so i couldn't i can't open um, couldn't open those up, so I had to, that's why some of them are sliced to open, is I had to figure out which ones were which. Again, this is um, a very pretty blue with a little floral. And a darker blue with that same floral. Oh, and Becky, I don't know. I did not have Nantucket. Becky's asking if this is the same designer as Dan Tuckett. Sorry, I don't know the answer to that. I have this might be our first Camille uh, collection. I love the dark blue. It is such a pretty dark blue. Then this kind of taupey color. This one has a little more green on it. Glad that you got our text, Cheryl, so that you could join in. Love it. If you ever want to receive a text message, like I send out a text message about an hour before I go live. Um, uh, if you ever want to receive that, just when you're in the store, tell us or um, call and we'll get you on that text list. Look at that um, beautiful floral, blue and green floral there. Um, that's a one way to get a hold of us. Um, Remember, the videos are always, um, you can always watch them in two ways. One, it'll be on Facebook, might get buried at some point. We upload that same video to YouTube, so you can always go back to our YouTube channel and watch it, as well as the most current live um, videos are on our website. So if you go to henandchickstudio.com, 
click on the live shopping tab, you will see not only today's live that we're doing live, some of you are there right now watching, um, or um, you can go back and see the past videos. Look at that blue and green with the taupey background. Luscious, love it, love it. Love these florals. Makes me think somewhat of our Danish dishes with these pretty blue, fat blue colors. Our Danish dishes would be beautiful with that. Oh, and uh, Marilyn and Becky, maybe the two of you need to um, uh, 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 say congregate and research out, but Nantucket must be from, from, I bet the same designer if you're both thinking that. All right. I love it. You guys can help answer some of the questions, right? Okay, look at this beautiful. Again, it's a dark, dark blue background with those blue flowers. So pretty to be able to do that. And then let's see, there's one more in here with a cream background. This is a smaller print, the one we had earlier with blue flowers. Oh, yes, and Jody has come to the rescue and answered your question. Okay, I love it. Okay, now we've got two more boxes of Shoreline. Hold on. Hold on, let's go with this one. All right, so there's a dot. And I've got several of these, so there's a nice um, cream with white dot. And then, oh, this is a pretty little floral in here. More like a floral, oh, I guess I thought it looked like a vine, but maybe not. So this one is green. This one is just blue. The last one was just greens. This one is just blues. Then we've got blue and green on A, a white background and blue and green on the blue background. So pretty. Okay, that and there's one more box, but Heidi's getting warm. So I gotta take the sweater off. Okay, with this box. Okay, now there's duplicates. Oh, this is more of Okay, I'll show you what I'm getting there. Hang on. So that dot comes in several pieces. So we got the taupe with the white dot, the cream with the white dot. That's that. The cream with a blue dot. The blue, light blue with a white dot. Green with white dot. Yeah, okay. And, oh, and the last one, dark blue, a blue with a dark blue dot. And... Okay, and I can tell you right now, this one, okay, so let's talk about what we're going to make with this, because when I see the fact that this is all I got of this one, I think that's the backdrop. Okay, so let's do, yeah, okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my, okay, so. Edelweiss is the this pattern, and I'm gonna. Um, so Edelweiss uh, is by the designer Thimble Blossoms. Um, that's Camille Ross Kelly, Ross Kelly, and it's a 74 inch quilt. It makes a 74 inch quilt. So I was gonna make kits of this, but based on what I see, I'm only gonna be able to make two. They didn't give me a full bolt. So 
I'm going to put that up here. I'll be able to make two kits of this. So the first two people, the first two people, because wait a minute now. Now I'm confused. I think it's actually a darker blue. Well, I'm going ha to have to check because that's not that one. I will maybe check, but anyway, I'm gonna I can make for sure a couple, but that isn't dark enough. It's gotta be another one. Maybe I'm missing one. Because it's gotta be a darker blue. So, but there's there's that's the first project. And then the second project is Sweet Escape, which is again from the same designer, Thimble Blossoms, Camille Russ Kelly. And I love this pattern. I always love a good uh, I'll say log cabin look quilt. And we're going to make that kit as well. So we've got, we're going to have those two things. We will at some point do fat quarters, but it'll be based on um, what is left of the collection. And when I see that, like that one, they gave me a half a bolt. Um, we're going to have to adjust as um, necessary. So, okay. So those are the two projects we're going to make with Shoreline from uh, Camille, Rose, uh, Camille Rose, Ross Kelly. Okay, now I have more boxes to unbox. So hang with me a second. You've hung in there that this long. A few more minutes. Okay, so let me get... Let me see if I can move. All right, first one. All right, we're going to do this one. And I have not opened this guy. Although I think I know what's in here. From the label. Oh, yes. It is the All Iowa Shop Hop book um, has finally arrived. And uh, so those of you who have purchased this, um, will, it'll either be shipped or ready for you to pick up today. Um, and those of you who have not gotten your book yet, uh, you can see the link online. Uh, I know the books are going to go fast. So definitely um, get your copy. These books are so, um, uh, I'm going to say so important. And one of the things I love is that it has all of the shops listed and all of their hours, all their contact information. You do not have to go looking for it. And that's one of the best things about this book. So even if you say, I'm not going on the All Iowa Shop Hop, um, which of course we encourage you to do, but this is a great resource for any time in the year. So if you are not from Iowa and think that you might be traveling to Iowa, worth the amount of money, it's $11.95 for the magazine, worth it to get that magazine and have it um, with you for planning future trips. I know when the girls and I travel, we're always looking for quilt shops in those areas that we're going to, and resources like this are absolutely um, uh, in, uh, appreciated. Okay, and then I have one more box. No, two more boxes. Hang in there again. I gotta get down. I barricaded myself down here. Okay. Let's see what's in this one. Oh! All right, well, this will be a good, one, a good one. And I have one more after this. Okay. Which team do you root for? You and I, Iowa State, Iowa. Well, you know, we are huge Iowa State fans here because that's where I graduated from. But who could not be an Iowa fan on Sunday as we cheered on the Hawks? Unfortunately, not to a win, um, but to second place in the NCAA tournament. Um, that Iowa team, uh, those women have done well all year long. But so proud of our Cyclones as well and what they did and look forward to seeing that team come back next year as well. So we've got uh, some replenishing of our collegiate uh, fabrics. We've got Iowa Paisley. Got the good Iowa State, I'll say checkerboard. And... Some Hawkeye pop art. 
I believe is what this one's called. And somebody was just asking me this morning if I was getting any of the Caitlin Clark fabric, and I am not, um, just because uh, it's a company I don't typically work with um, that is having it and trying to get it could be um, an issue. So we're going to just stick with our good old regular collegiate um, pieces. Love the Hawkeye tie-dye. We have that in Cyclone as well. We can keep going here. And this one is Iowa State. Got some football on it. And the last one down here is a good Iowa State with a buffalo plaid. And I have some fun uh, cuddle coming in, the, in very soon that might go well with this. So watch for that in the future. Okay, and one more box. I still got it down here. Let's see, it's a small one. It's not big. So it's either one or two bolts of fabric. So let's see what's in this one. Any guesses? Oh, I don't think it's fabric. I thought it was fabric by the shape, but it's not. It's supplies, it's notions. Always exciting as well. So we got some new six and a half by 24 inch Quilter Select rulers. And let's see that. And that's about it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Here I thought it was going to be fabric and it's not. But those Quilter Select rulers, if you've never tried them, are a non-slick. Um, it's non-slip. And they certainly are handy dandy to have. Okay. So that is all of the unboxing today. And I certainly appreciate everybody um, hanging in there with me with the sun. Uh, would you like me to just turn the camera? I uh, have a little set change and show you a brand new quilt. Actually, I could show you two. Um, so if you're all willing to hang in there with me, I'm going to um, move this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get behind the camera so I can see what you're seeing. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to move back over this way, back to the front door. There's our front door. And then I'm going to go this way. And then I'll be able to show you. This is, we're not quite done designing this area yet. So there'll be more work. But this quilt is brand new up here. It uses Old Glory. Um, and it's called Inside Out. It is a beautiful quilt. Uh, although it does um, have red, white, and blue in it, I don't know that it just screams patriotic as much as lovely lovely quilt so it's qk2403 uh the kit's 129 dollars and 95 cents and the pattern is from yellow umbrella and i love this pattern i've been wanting to make it since she's been here so that is a great um new quilt kit there and then i just have to pull this out we have talked about this several times is that you can put cotton with cuddle. And um, so I'm gonna show you, this is a 60 inch wide Old Glory fabric, okay? And it's been quilted with a beautiful cuddle bound with cotton and it is ready to snuggle under. It took Goldie all of, I'm gonna say an hour to have it on the machine and quilted, and then uh, we had to bind it, well, and Stephanie did that for us. Um, but it is a great way to um, use uh, wider cotton fabrics and make a wonderful, wonderful um, blanket or throw to have out there. And we certainly love that. And make sure we don't have any Checking to make sure we don't have any other questions here for you guys. So there is more to come. Um, we Again, we have lots of new quilts, lots of new settings. We'll get this fabric out. I'll look forward um, to showing you more of the store to come. But again, thank you this morning for helping me 
um, get through the beautiful sunshine that we had so that you could see some great fabrics. And I certainly hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye.